Guys, what is up? Welcome back to the Planet Chinchilla YouTube channel. Josh here with PlanetChinchilla.com. The channel specifically designed for new chinchilla owners or current chinchilla owners to ask and get answers to frequently asked questions and just learn how to take care of a chinchilla and bond with them more efficiently. So if that's you, be sure to give us a thumbs up on this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave us some comments down below. It helps us a ton when you do that. Otherwise, let's dive into the video, which is an update on on how Asher is adapting to the house, the new chinchilla that we just got. And I wanna give you guys five things that you must do with a new chinchilla. That's right, five must do's with any new chinchilla. And we're starting right now. Number one thing that you need to do when you get a new chinchilla is learn what they can and they cannot have. This is huge for their safety, huge for their overall health, and it's something that can be a little bit stressful as a new chinchilla owner because there is a lot of things that they can't have. So, while it may be stressing you out trying to figure this out, you know, standing, trying to talk to one of the pet store employees or even comparing nutritional labels on the back of food options, it will get easier to understand and with a little bit of research and help from online communities such as forums, Facebook, YouTube, anything like that, you can make sure that your chinchilla has exactly what they need without risking their health. And I get it guys, it can be a little stressful learning what they can and cannot have. You might be sitting at a pet store trying to figure out what is safe and what isn't safe for them to get. You might read one thing online, but another thing online. And yeah, it can be stressful, but here's the best thing you can do. Just stick to the Timothy Hay and something like the Oxbow Essentials for the pellets. Those two things are a chinchilla's diet. That is what they need. Yes, there are things that you can do for treats that are safe, but overall, if you stick to those, you're gonna be less stressed you know everything's safe and it's just something you don't have to worry about if you make it that simple okay guys number two is you need to find ways to make your chinchilla comfortable you want your chinchilla to get comfortable with the environment you want them to warm up to you as quickly as possible so that needs to be on the top of your priority list is finding a way to make your little chin as comfortable as possible. So for starters, you would go with the cage, making sure that's all set up properly. Then you need to make sure you provide the basic needs, like the dust bath Asher is kind of half taking right now. She just goes in there and then doesn't do the typical roll that you see, but we're getting there. It's only been a few days so far since we've had her. So you want to make the cage comfortable. Fleece liners are huge for that. I believe in those big time. Look at this. There you go, you're learning. Oh, dusty chinchilla. Dusty chinchilla alert. And a lot of making them comfortable is on you as their owner and caretaker. So don't push it. This is actually pushing it faster than I intended to originally. With her, I didn't plan on making her interact heavily the first week, but she's pretty spunky. So I figured why not? Let's go after it right now. So do what you can, keep them comfortable, interact with them, make them get used to that environment quickly. And the more work you put into it, obviously the better it's going to go. So give it your best, give it whatever time you have, start making them comfortable and that bond will grow and it will become much easier as you go. Which leads me directly into number three. which is you need to start the bonding process as quickly as possible. Yes, I know I sound like I am contradicting what I just said without with the idea behind you don't wanna rush it, but at the same time, you do need to get it going. If they're extremely stressed and timid in the beginning, start with interacting with them inside of the cage, just talking to them. Do a couple of those basic things, talk to them, keep them close to you, and then start getting them out more. Or utilize something like this playpen, this Jess Pet 61 inch playpen. I've only had her since Sunday, I'm sorry, not Tuesday, like I said earlier in the video. So it's only been two days. 
and she's only 10 weeks old. She's doing awesome. You gotta start that bonding process, start trying to pet them, see how they react. If they get a little nippy, they seem super scared, back off, try again another day, but you still need to get it going as quickly as you can because good things will happen when you start. She's already jumping on my lap. Things are looking good. We're getting closer here. Which, number three, leads directly into number four. The bonding process goes hand in hand with playtime. Provide it, make sure you're getting them out of the cage. Giving them a chance to do what they like to do, which is be crazy and run around. Again, if you can't do a long time per day, I can't do that most of the time. I mean, we all have other things to do household chores, taking care of the kids during a pandemic, or sometimes your kids just take up your entire day in general and there ain't a whole lot you can do about it. Do what you can, but get them out, try and get them out moving around and near you in a safe area that is proofed. And when you do that, all of the other steps that I'm talking about in this video become so much easier. So take the time to get them out, make sure it's safe. And then that playtime Helps with number three, which was bonding. Everything just goes together whenever you do everything like this, guys. Come on. Still not a huge fan of being pet. We're getting there, though. And she's a little crazy. And last but not least, number five, guys, is be patient. It's not always going to work out perfectly in the beginning. They're not always going to be ready to play, ready to be spunky, ready to be rambunctious like this one here. But it does happen over time. My last chinchilla, it did take longer. It took like three weeks with her. But this one is seems just much more comfortable and social so far, especially for being a baby. But if they're not, don't get stressed. Don't sweat it. Don't sit at the kitchen table mad that you got a chinchilla that you think isn't social don't be like this guy here getting ready to pull his hair out over it it does get better give us some time be patient and keep trying guys don't forget to go over to planetchinchilla.com url is going to display across the bottom of the screen here again when you guys go to planetchinchilla.com by typing that in your web address bar it helps us out greatly just like it helps us out when you give us a thumbs up on these videos so new chinchilla owners current chinchilla owners if you like this kind of content give it a thumbs up like it that helps us a ton it pushes it towards other chinchilla owners subscribe to the channel hit the notification button otherwise have an awesome holiday week and we will see you guys in the next video Take care.